Hi guys, this is Malunche and welcome back to Dauntless. The new patch notes for OB 0.6.5 are in. I do believe the patch is live by the time this episode will come out. But as every week, I kind of want to go over them together with you. See if there are some major changes we definitely need to check out. Or if it's just some general quality of life. Trying to make our, uh, our game time in this game a lot more uh, enjoyable. So yeah, let's take a quick look at the patch notes. So release for OB 0.6.5. OB 0.6.5 is a quality of life improvement patch that introduces balance changes, delivers bug fixes, and lays down some groundwork for Hunt Pass Season 2. Oh, that's actually pretty excited. Uh, quality of life. Uh, fixed a number of issues where uh, that were causing some behemoths to twist and bend unnaturally. Yeah, I think that has been going on since the release of the game. So yeah, we've seen this uh, happen or this uh, text that they fixed something that twisted or bent them a couple times already. So let's see if this time they actually got it right and figured out what was causing it. Uh, the Velomir satellites no longer point at the ground and wait before firing. This means that the firing time between the beams is shorter. So this means that you'd better move fast. Yeah, before when the uh, satellite beams came out, they were basically pointing uh, towards the ground. And when you came closer, they actually turned uh, up and then turned sideways, uh, turning around 90 degrees. Uh, this time they are actually already uh, pointing at the uh, well, the level where uh, the players are heading. So yeah, be careful. This is gonna uh, mean they're gonna be a little more difficult to avoid. Uh, completed a polish and optimization pass on Sandriana's stone. Remastered Rift Stalker's combat music to better bite through the mix. Okay, so some changes in the the audio of Rift Stalker. Uh, movies will now play at the resolution that is nearest to the player's actual screen instead of at the max resolution. Uh, at the end of uh, hunts, we're getting like um, uh, there. I think there's, there's a couple. I'm not really sure how many uh, movies that uh, will while you wait and go out of uh, back into the uh, city. Um, well, basically, the movies uh, made some people adjust their screen, um, their screen size, uh, their screen resolution. So that should be fixed right now. Uh, improved controller navigation in the main menu and character creation screen. Optimized and improved performance on the Scorchstone Helion fights. Optimized and improved. Okay, okay, okay. Fix the bug that would cause a scorched stone helium to get stuck using its tail, slide, uh, tail lash repeatedly. Um, as you can see in my fight, whenever he hits his tail down, he actually does it uh, really fast. If you're in a group, he actually hits his tail for the amount of people that are in the group. So if you get like a tail sla uh, slash, uh, yeah, tail slash to the to the ground. Um, he could get stuck, uh, apparently, in it, and something is popping up. Hey, Winrar. <laughs> Not sure why he's on my screen all of a sudden, but, uh, yeah, apparently he just started up himself. Uh, fix the bug. Uh, where were they? Uh, where were we? Scorchstone Helion weapon's special ability will no longer incorrectly trigger multiple times when used in conjunction with area of effects damage. Okay. Fix the bug that it caused the marksman target to appear on Dire Skarn's upper back instead of its head. Fix the bug that could cause Pangar or Frostback to stop attacking after using its tail swipe attack. Okay, balance changes. The hammer no longer deals 25% reduced damage to severables, uh, the tails, the tusks, so uh, the, basically the breakable parts. Uh, and the pike no longer deals... Uh, uh, no longer deal further reduced damage when attacking Skarm's armor plates. They now deal the same amount of damage as the slashing weapons. Still reduced, but just not as much. Yeah, the pike was doing like 8 damage per hit on, on Skarm's armor plates. It was kind of uh, ridiculous. So that should increase right now. And then known issue, all current known issues can be found on the forums. Uh, I am missing... Lay down some groundwork for the Hunt Pass Season 2. Uh, nothing in here actually or it should be something that I cannot come up with 
Um, but yeah, I don't see anything for the groundwork for Hunt Pass Season 2. Uh, probably it's it's some script in the background or something uh, that's maybe too hard to explain or just not. Um, well, yeah, uh, let's leave it at that. We cannot, I cannot see anything directly that would be groundwork for the Hunt Pass, but we'll leave it at that. So yeah, um, quality of life, a couple, and balance changes, as I said, uh, nothing really big or major changes. Uh, the hammer uh, reduced damage to several levels, that's pretty good. And then the pike, uh, really, really good, that uh, Scarn armor plates can now uh, actually... Well, you can, you'll still do reduced damage, but yeah, as I said, not as much. So those were the patch notes for this week, nothing too impressive. Although I do have to say like every fix they do, every fix that they, every change that they do, uh, it can only make the game, even though like they look kind of insignificant. Uh, the hammer one is a good one, the pike one is a good one. Uh, but yeah, that's, I, I guess most players constantly focus on when damage changes will happen and don't tend to look at the overall smaller changes that the performance can have or the uh, changes they do to islands. Uh, we do not only have the patch notes today, we actually have some other things that I kind of wanted to show you. So a while back I was checking out my Twitter account and I came up with uh, this message right here. So Dauntless January the 18th, need some new Sky Swag? Enter the code PAX South in the in-game store to get a free PAX South Flare for your Slayer. Already uh, did it, basically you go to store, um, then you have redeem code all the way at the right side. And in redeem code, in all caps lock, you put in PAX South. Uh, and then redeem code, and then you will get your Flare. Then you look at styles. And you go to signal flare and you can see that the pex flare is right in there next to your other ones i'm gonna keep the christmas one because i really like it um, it's nice and bright uh titles nothing really and then another one i talked about this a couple weeks back but yeah i was kind of not on really on point with it but there is actually a release video for uh when console is coming out so I haven't seen it yet, so I kind of wanted to check it out together with you guys. Who's talking? Who's talking? So yeah, let's take a look at the actual, the official release video for when Dauntless is hitting the consoles. So coming soon to PS4, Xbox One in April 2019. So yeah, a couple months away still. That wraps it up for today's announcements, today's news bulletin. We had some patch notes, patch notes that we could look over and some changes that they actually made to improve the game. Uh, we got a visual on how you can get a nice new flair for PAX South. 
and the video uh, we yeah it was it was nice uh, helium uh, the night the new helium actually popping out in the end uh, I can tell you now I can tell you right now if you only need to hit it as much as in the video this game would be even more easy uh, some behemoths are quite a challenge uh, well at least for me anyway I hope you enjoyed the video guys and I'll see you in the next one bye bye